did not see. No, no, you, you finished second. Saw the second. Yeah, he missed. He parked. Wyndham, Wyndham, just overall thoughts on the week. I'm super pleased. Um, you know, obviously, coming up short is always a bummer, but I have not always loved this golf course and haven't played well here. And I said to myself this week, even coming into the weekend, even in a good spot, a top five or top ten here would just be a huge, um, huge for me. And so it, it, I think it's just a testament to where my game's at and how much I've grown. How big of a boost is this heading into, I mean, obviously another great week at a signature event and then obviously heading into the players next week. How much confidence do you bring in um, going up to Sawgrass? Yeah, tons. I mean, this golf course is so difficult and challenges every part of your game. And I think that, um, you know, it's a great it's great prep for the players and the majors coming up. So, yeah, I feel good about it. Um, I always I was like trying to get myself in the mix against the best players in the world and see see how I fare. Scotty gained over four and a half shots on the field in putting. He's top five in strokes gained putting for the week. How formidable is he as an opponent out there? If he puts this well, yeah, I um, it, w- it would be a borderline unfair if, if he starts putting really good. So you know, I never want to wish ill on anybody, but if he starts putting positive each week, it's going to be really hard to beat. But that's good. I mean, he's just going to push me to get better in my ball striking um, in every every part of the game. So he's the he's kind of the barometer right now, and um, I got a lot of room to catch up and get better. Bay Hill can jump up and get you in many ways, but what was the toughest part about today? Um, well, it was a different win today, and then the greens weren't as um, as firm and fast, and so the grain came back into effect, and I missed a lot of putts because of that. You know, the first day I was struggling with reading the greens because the grain was affecting a lot, and then Friday, Saturday, there was less grass on there, and I made great adjustments, made a lot of putts, and then it went back to how it was Thursday. So... I just would say just the change of the golf course because of the little bit of moisture we had last night made it difficult. And then always, you know, being in a final group is always challenging. It's mental, you know, it's got to be mentally strong. Another Scotty question, sorry. He's 66 bogey free today. When you think of that kind of around, I think scoring average is over 73. What, what would, how impressed is that? Impressive yeah, I mean, Scotty should win here almost every year with his ball striking. This golf course is so demanding T to green and he's been the best the last few years in that category so I'm not shocked um, it, you know it was definitely out there I I had some loose loose holes a couple of loose bogeys and if I make a couple putts I think I could have maybe challenged him but you know hats off to Scott he's the best player in the world right now and and that's what best players in the world do they shoot 66 on a final round thank you yeah thanks, appreciate guys. that thank you.